Well, good day and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Today, I thought I'd step you through how I store and hang up my cordage um, so it's ready to go. So these are my ridge lines. Um, uh, how I have them set up is um, pretty straightforward, but it makes it easy to deploy uh, when you get to camp and um, like setting up your ridge line and your tarp that little bit quicker. So what I do is um, on the end, I always have a uh, loop which I tie with a bow on knot. Um, and if you want to a uh, quick tip and a really cool uh, trick on how to tie a bowline knot. I've got a video for that and I'll link that down below. But uh, as you'll see, I also have a couple of friction knots attached to the end of my uh, end of the cordage as well. So it's all ready to go. Nice and easy to deploy. And the good thing about setting it up like this or holding it, you know, hanging it up like this is that it, you don't have to worry about your cord hitting the ground or your rope hitting the ground. It is It just pulls out straight away like this. Like this thing never never falls apart. So you can attach this to one end of the tree um, and I'll show you how to do that in another video but uh, and then you can just walk this side out to the other side and then um, when you get there you know tie the trucker's hitch and away you go. But I'll just unravel it and I'll show you how I actually hang it all up so it makes it nice and easy but as you can see it all just comes apart in a nice straight forward and easy manner. Okay, so to hang it up, as I said, I've got a couple of friction knots that I attach to the end and the loop, so that always is the end you start with. Um, I bring the two friction knots nice and close to the to the loop, and I just drop it between my two fingers like that, and then it's just a matter of wrapping it up between your thumb and your little finger in a figure eight. So it's just straight around like that, and you just keep going until you get close to the end and then I'll show you what the next bit is. So when you get it to that point you just untake it off your fingers and that's all like that and then it's just a case of wrapping the end around a couple of times and then slowly making your way back down the cord. You don't have to do it tight because it makes it easier to pull out later but you know, you can tie it as tight as you want. And then when you get to the end, it's just a case of tuck that through. Easy as that. Done as done. Okay, so as you can see, it's ready to go for next time. I usually have a uh, couple, couple of ridge lines ready to go. As you can see, this one's got a little uh, loop on the end. I haven't got any friction knots on this one because they were getting a bit worn through so I've got to put it on next time but I just have two different lengths because you know mother nature and trees don't t tend to take my uh, camping needs into consideration when they start planting when they start growing so a couple of lengths is always handy to have. Okay well that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, little video on how I um, hang up my cords and my ridge lines. Um, Pretty straightforward, but yeah, it makes it really easy and makes it really fast when you when you get to camp. You can just set up your ridge line really quick, especially if it's raining. Always important. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for dropping by, and I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and until next time, stay safe.